skydiver falls to his death in Sebastian. Tonight, we're still waiting to learn the man's identity. As Whitney Burbank reports, investigators believe it may have been equipment malfunction. The skydiving community already in mourning. This makeshift memorial set up for the skydiver whose body was found not far away from where he took off. The Saturday morning jump came to a horrifying finish for one skydiver. Police say his parachute may have malfunctioned. At this point, uh, we haven't recovered the parachute. He broke away from his parachute. We, we found out. Police say the skydiver landed on the east side of Roseland Road. Investigators say he was skydiving from Skydive Sebastian, the runway just a short drive away from where investigators discovered his body. But police aren't sharing many details about the victim or how he died. Investigators left scouring the woods in brush for his chute. Police say the piece of evidence may answer questions about what went wrong. Now, a joint FAA and police investigation. More eyes that we can get looking for that parachute in the area. Um, the winds were blowing out of the northeast, so we presume that the shared parachute would have went maybe southwest. It could have went anywhere. Once the airspace reopened, police say Skydive Sebastian was back up and running. Skydivers spotted overhead within hours of the incident. Our records show the business has been linked to multiple skydiving deaths. Just last year, police say a seasoned skydiver died in a skydive Sebastian jump. Investigators determined his parachute deployed too late. We tried to speak with some skydive Sebastian employees. So far, those requests have been denied. I spoke to a friend of the skydiver who did not want to be identified, but she tells me that he is very experienced and will be sorely missed. Police still have not released his identity. They say they want to notify all of his friends and family before doing that. For now, we're in Sebastian, Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News.